G'day everyone, Viv here. I hope you're all keeping well. Welcome back. It's time to have a look at some of the modern figures that I painted last year. These are the uh, Eureka French Foreign Legion that uh, um, I painted up last year in June. I did uh, a full painting along on my YouTube channel. If oh, not on my YouTube channel, on my Facebook page. If you want to check that out, the link is in the description below. Um, but you know, very simple little paint jobs. Um, super, super quick. This figure here I love because he's left-handed. You don't see too many left-handed figures around. Um, and you know, I love that. These, were, these guys were great fun to paint. I painted 22 of them um, in no specific nation. Um, I just call them my blue guys. Um, so I've got these guys and, a, and some green guys as well. Great fun to paint. I really love Eureka figures. Costa, uh, who sculpted these, does such a fantastic job. They're slightly chunkier than, uh, you know, Empress figures, um, but uh, I just find them so much easier to paint, more, more enjoyable to paint. Um, you know, there's, there's always that big discussion in the modern groups on Facebook about, you know, scale and weapons and, you know, true scale and, you know, it, it comes up in every, in every game. But I really love these. I did these guys, I did some Bundeswehr, I did some em Empress uh, British soldiers, and those I didn't really enjoy painting too much. We'll have a look at those again a little bit later on. But these guys were just so much fun to paint. Um, it just happened so, so quickly. Like I said in one of my videos the other night, I painted I think 69 figures over a weekend, over a long weekend, and I just couldn't stop painting. These figures were all done with uh, sponges for the camo effect. It was very, very quick, very, very simple. You know, they're not going to win any medals or, you know, any awards or anything. But, uh, you know, I just sponged on the different colours of, uh, of camo on there. I think I sprayed them with uh, wolf blue or something I can't remember. You'll find it on my um, Facebook page. One of the army's painter sprays, I think it was, the, the little blue one, wolf grey or something. I can't remember. Um, I sprayed them wolf blue, whatever it's called, and then uh, just picked out all the weapons and the webbing and vests and everything in a dark grey and then washed it with black. German grey I think it is from Vallejo, again it's on my Facebook page. Um, and then uh, you know sponged on some, uh, well I sponged on the, the camo and then did all the weapons and vests and stuff and um, faces and skins and then gave them all a bit of a wash. Done, 22 figures. I think these ones I did over an evening. Um, quick and simple, beautiful figures. Um, great fun Great fun to paint. I can't recommend Eureka figures enough, you know, especially these ones. These, are, these were great, I really enjoyed them. So that's one of the modern forces that I painted last night. I've used them for a bunch of different sorts of games. Um, some homebrew games that, uh, you know, I've messed around here with, with my daughter, Charlotte. You would have seen her in one of the videos before. Um, I played the Spectre Operations with these, with some guys at the club. Um, just fun figures, fun figures. We'll come back next time and have a look at the green guys. Um, because, you know, I don't paint any specific nation, you know, they're just cool, fun figures to have. And so these are my blue guys. We'll come back next time and have a look at my green guys. Thanks for tuning in, guys. See ya.